In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the best passing concepts in the history of Madden, and that is the mesh post out of the gun bunch offset. You can actually take this concept and apply it to many other formations, uh, but we're going to be focusing on the bunch out of the Indianapolis Colts playbook. If you want to get my entire ebook on the Indianapolis Colts offense, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including access to all of the updates to those ebooks while your membership is active. So make sure to sign up for the Patreon membership today. The link is in the description. The play is mesh post that we're going to be taking a look at today. And this is super, super effective. Um, and we're going to be utilizing this play in kind of a specific way. Now, generally speaking, you want to run this um, with your bunch to the wide side of the field. Uh, what you can do with this play, you can actually do so, so much uh, with this play. But really the setup I want to focus on today is this hitch to the slot receiver, an out route to the solo receiver. And then what I actually like to do with this, you can leave this post route that he is on. Or another thing that you can do that I think makes this play even better is you can put him on a hot route master or slot apprentice post. And what that does is it makes that post route a little sharper and it's gonna make it a little bit more effective against both man and zone coverage. Now our first read on this play is we're gonna be taking a quick peek out here to the tight end. If we can throw this, we're gonna high point and free form up and outside. And what that does is it gives him that little catch animation right there that is super, super effective. So what you're gonna see here is if I just highball this, this is gonna, you can also just highball it fine. Um, but if they're in man-to-man -man coverage, that route is so, so good. And the way that they're gonna have to stop that route is they are going to have to basically shade their coverage underneath. If they shade their coverage underneath, that does play this much better. As you can see, it does, but it's going to be much, much more susceptible than to other route combos that we might run in our bunch offense. So this is gonna funnel them into having to shade their coverage underneath. Now, another thing that's really popular right now, a lot of you like to do this adjustment to stop this play is they're going to basically man this safety up on this outside corner or outside receiver, and then they're gonna man this guy up on the running back. Now, uh, what this is going to do, in effect, is it's going to take away the wheel route. But the beauty of this concept is if we can, if we throw this route quick enough, you can throw that out route to the left side. I don't know why Flacco didn't throw the ball there, but you can you can throw this flat this uh, this flat route. So let me show you. So like for example, if you're getting cover zero blitzed, okay, maybe it looks something like this. What you can do is if they're starting to slow down your tight end route. You can look to the left side of the screen off of the snap. And if they're doing that adjustment, just pass lead outside and click on and you're going to possession catch that super fast. What that does, it does so much for your offense because now the adjustment that's actually designed to stop this play is not going to be super, super effective. Super, super effective. So now what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to do something like this over here. Um, and then the beauty of this is let's say they do something like this, all right? So they're trying to stop the C route. We know the C route is very popular from Bunch this year. What you can do is you can try to throw this out route. You see he does press him and he does actually play him very well. And that's the general thing about a solo wide receiver this year is press thirds actually play them very well. Um, they almost play them, especially if you press them, they play them better, I think, than just general man coverage. So he's going to play pretty solid on any outbreak you route to the left side. But then this is where we come back and say, okay, well, now, again, we look to the left side. He gets jammed. We're going to look to the right. Oh, we can highball this flat, and we're going to try to throw that and just get a couple quick yards against a, a good blitz. This play is super good, though, if they are in any kind of zone. Um, and it's also still good against the blitz if you do get time in the pocket. So one of the other things that you can do is let's say they are doing something like this. This is gonna open up this little snap throwing lane where we can throw the ball to the running back super quick out of the backfield. What you're gonna see here is if I just snap, throw it here and I can basically try to truck or break the tackle, that's another aspect to having some quick reads on the field. And again, it's gonna lead them into something like this. And the beauty of this play is this out route really does give that coverage a really difficult time. You can always throw that out route. So just, just kind of keep that in the back of your mind, okay? So now they're in a position where really the best way to stop this is to man this guy up here. Maybe they do something like this, especially for other plays 
that we're going to be running out of bunch. Maybe they drop a purple over here for a corner. And now this play becomes super good because now they're starting to adjust to other things you can do out of the bunch formation. And now you can really zero in on the main thing that makes this play so good. And that is this concept right here where this post and this hitch. And you'll see this post just cook man every single time. The post is so consistent against man coverage. Now what's going to happen typically is their user is going to say, okay, I've got to go take away that post route because if I don't, the post route is going to continue to get open every single time. So maybe they do a defense or coverage show that looks somewhat like this. And then what's going to happen is then you have the ability to basically playmaker this hitch. So what you're going to see here is we're just going to flick the right joystick to the inside or to the left and you see we can playmaker him across the field and he serves as a really good little check down read uh, specifically against man coverage. Now all that to say about man this is actually a really really incredible concept uh, for attacking any kind of zone coverage and really the biggest thing here again is typically they're going to use her that post route in, in this and so Really, you have a couple of different things that are going to be open with this play. First and foremost, if they're in a double Mabel, you can high point this up and inside, and that running back route will be very consistent for you at attacking um, zone coverage. And then the other thing that you have, and this is really the, the crux of this play being so good, is when they start to have to like take away your, your flat zones uh, or take away your flat routes over the middle, they're going to have to use her that post over the middle, right? So now what you're able to do because of the way this route combo works is you can just sit it down right to that little hitch and take your easy 10 to 15 yards. This creates really good spacing on the field, uh, which is one of the most underrated things in creating good route combinations is having good spacing. Now, if they do want to play man coverage, you can sometimes high point this. Um, if they don't have deep route KO on that player, you can high point and free form up and outside. And that's a pretty solid read against man. So again, I'm going to free form and high ball up into the outside. And you see that it's going to give him that little over, over the shoulder um, catching animation that we really like. Now, another thing that you can do against zone, if they're in a drop eight coverage, let's say they're doing a really good job of maybe they jump back down to the hitch um, and they play the hitch really well. If you wait on this play, you could actually throw this post with a pass lead down. You can throw that over on that side of the field as well. So it creates a multiple layered route, a multiple window route. And then the last thing that I want to show you about this play that I think is super effective against zone coverage, it doesn't really matter what zone you play. This play should be really good because again, they have to use her the post um you could if you wanted to put this guy on a ghost route if you have hot route master um we can talk about that in another video but anyways what you'll see here is if i playmaker this again playmaker this to, to open space you see that even a cover for hard flatted coverage with a yellow zone in the middle of the field it's going to really struggle uh to defend this play so this is one of my favorite concepts whatever my opponent is starting to get uh super aggressive trying to stop the sidelines or something or if he's trying to blitz me a lot this is a really 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 good concept i want to thank you for watching the video and if you want to get my entire colts offensive ebook make sure that you join the patreon the link is down in the description